Phil and I are going to have a, uh, a favorite body of water off. So we're going to talk about our favorite bodies of water and why Ooh. each one is better than the other one. So uh, Phil's favorite body of water is um, Sydney Harbour. Sydney Harbour. But you guys can continue to vote throughout which body of water you think is, is the best. Um, and, uh, and yeah, we'll, <laughs> we'll see who wins. So Phil, do you want to go first? You said you had some ev even more juice about Sydney Harbour. Yeah, well, I, um, I thought what we could do is I could say a fact about Sydney Harbour and then you could say a fact about your body of water. What is your body of water? So my body of water is called Movile Cave in Romania. Okay, great. I'm looking forward to this. And then in the chat, maybe you could vote on what your favorite fact is. Which fact will come up trumps? Um, so this is my first fact on Sydney Harbour. Uh -huh, okay. There's so many to choose from. I don't know which one to go first. But the first fact that I'll go with is more rain on average falls on the whole of the Amazon every half an hour than is contained within all of Sydney Harbour. That's my first fact. So Sydney Harbour is like the rain that falls on half of the Amazon. Wait, on the whole of the Amazon every half an hour? All the Amazon every half an hour. Whoa, okay, that is pretty good. <clears throat> okay, um, okay, I've got a fact. Uh, Mobile Cave, it's in Romania. I'm done, your fact. <laughs> anyway, I've got a better one. Um, Mobile okay. Cave um, has been uh, separated from the rest of the biosphere, so the rest of everything alive on the surface of the Earth. Mobile Cave has been completely isolated from all of it for the last 5.5 million years. Um, so, yeah, go on, Phil, you're up. That, well, there must be some pretty cool stuff in there. Um, oh, I can't wait for the next fact. That's a pretty good fact. Uh, what do you reckon, guys? Whose fact wins? Whose fact is best? Uh, is that LDBR saying cave is the best fact? No, surely not. <laughs> That's surely not. Yeah. Matt, all this love for Matt. Oh, okay. <laughs> That's pretty good. All right, Matt, you win this first round. Second round, I'm going to have to up the ante. All right. <clears throat> all right, here we go. In the summer of 2008, there were 74,000 tons of fish caught recreationally. So just with a line. Uh, and that's just in one summer. That's the equivalent of 25,000, the weight of 25,000 African bull elephants. 25,000? Wow. So 74 million kilograms of, of fish. Yep. Wow. Okay, okay, Mobile Cave is not as full of life as Sydney Harbour, not by any stretch, but it does have um, 48 uh, different species that live down there that we've found so far. It's pretty difficult to go down there because it's really poisonous, so people go in this diving gear and they, they try not to stay there too long. Um, but yeah, it's got 48 species down there, and 33 of them only live in Mobile Cave. So nowhere else. So obviously some, some, some of the species kind of went down there and have continued to survive on the surface of the earth for the last few millions of years. But there are 33 species that have evolved or, or got lost down there and have been unable to survive on the surface. 33 species that only survive inside the cave. Um, and so they're completely unique to the planet and they're really bizarre. Um, there is... Uh, oh, I've forgotten the name of it. But basically, okay, basically how it works is um, all across the uh, all across the kind of surfaces, the walls and things, grows this like mat like bacteria thing um, that eats sulfur because down in the cave there's there's hardly any oxygen. Um, so up here we've got like twenty percent oxygen, whereas down in the cave there's more like seven percent oxygen. So there's, there's really a small amount of oxygen, but it's full to the brim with loads of loads of hot sulfur. And so everything uses sulfur instead of oxygen. It's all like sulfur-based life. Um, and so, yeah, you get these mats of bacteria that are feeding on the sulfur and everything else just kind of wanders around. Usually with no... I don't think any of them have eyes because there's no light down there. And they just chew on these mats of sulfury, egg, eggy-like um, bacteria. That's a pretty good fact. That's a very good fact. Ah, okay. Uh, look, I, I, there's, there's so much love for the cave. It's all, in all caps, which I initiated and I'm regretting right now. Just cave, 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 cave. Um, one more. How about just one more really quick one? Um, 
see if I can get 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 one fact. Um, and all right. Uh, so Sydney Harbour is an it lies in an interesting part of the world. It gets tropical uh, currents from the Great Barrier Reef, the East Australian Current, which you might have seen in Finding Nemo, which he, he where Nemo Nemo's dad hitches a ride in that vortex with the sea turtles, and it gets that. So it brings down tropical species, but it also get brings up. Uh, temperate and even Antarctic species all the way you get leopard seals even occasionally in Sydney Harbour. Um, but Sydney Harbour is one of the busiest harbours in the world and um, up until 2003 it was crazy in one of the busiest harbours in the world there was still commercial fishing happening in Sydney Harbour but they banned it and then since then so many sharks have moved into Sydney Harbour and the three big three most dangerous sharks are the great white shark the tiger shark, and most dangerously of all, probably the bull shark, have moved into Sydney Harbour that uh, in summer, if you swim in Sydney Harbour anywhere, statistically, with the uh, perception range of a bull shark, the uh, volume of water, um, uh, that, and the, the amount of bull sharks in Sydney Harbour, there will be a bull shark larger than 1.8 meters that knows where you are. That's my fact. Whoa, that's so cool. I don't, I actually have run out of facts about Mobile Cave. Well, I got some more, but I, <laughs> I think we should move on. But that's so cool. All right, we should move on. We should move on. And also that sharks. Was fun. I like that. Don't be scared of sharks, y'all. Uh, shark, I mean, obviously sharks are scary in the sense that they're dangerous, but a shark, sharks are, are, the main, are one of the best indicators of a healthy ecosystem. So you've got to have a load of sharks, and that's why it's, yeah, it's great that Sydney's banned commercial fishing in the harbour. 